What's going on guys? Today was day 14, I believe day 14 in the trader career path. One of those days of the 14 we did not trade in. So technically yeah, 13 out of 15 completed days, I believe at this point for the evaluation. But I wanna do a recap of my trading today because I did not stream today. <clears throat> uh, I'll be live tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow morning, Thursday morning. So again, that streaming schedule is Monday, Tuesday, Thursday at uh, 9.20 a.m. So we're nearing the end of that 15-day period, but unfortunately, with how bad of a week I had last week, every single day being red except for Monday last week, we gave a lot of the progress back and we went to the red on the eval. And um, anyway, so we were, we're in, a, in a tough spot here, but <clears throat> I wanna recap the trades for today. So let's kind of go over that and just and just jump right into that. So jump over to the screen. Um, and I took actually, uh, since the stream that I did on Tuesday, I believe uh, you there's several trades that you guys might not have seen that I've, you know, I posted in the discord, but you might not have seen them if you're not in the discord. So one of those was actually a long here that I actually did take a third trade on Tuesday, yesterday, that you guys did not see. So I took two really frustrating trades on Tuesday on stream and ended the day, or ended the stream in the red. And then here on Tuesday, I posted in the Discord that I actually took a long off of that 45 level for just a quick scalp, which was really, really nice. I actually took seven contracts here at 45, just picked that bottom. And I, I with this trade, I was basically saying, you know, I'm looking for this bounce off 45. I like the way this candle closed. I like where my support's drawn out there. I had said on prior days, I was looking at 45 as a level. We'd come down pretty steeply. I'm looking for a bounce here. And look, pretty much if this trade doesn't work, the, the eval's finished. But I'm gonna put a line in the sand here. So I'm long at 45 and I did end up getting 10 points there and getting five contracts out at 55 and then a couple out there for break even as we did start to push back down. <clears throat> Then last night, uh, I noticed, you know, trading overnight is always a little bit weird, but last night I did end up taking a trade. So technically this is in today's session. You can see the, the line here represents yesterday's session and today's session. So I did take a long, uh, which you can see right off the bat here did not work. But the thinking here was that we pushed into 45 and we did get that late day move back above this 60 level, which I really like this 60 level over the last few days holding up and a recapture of that level to me looked very strong and I wanted to play that long off kind of that 60 level for the next level up at really, I was looking at 80. At one point I put this long after I took this long I did have an order to get out at, I believe 75. I'm not sure what the exact top tick is there, but I did have an order here at 74.50 or somewhere in here. I'm not sure, it might've gotten filled there, but I did end up moving that order at some point up to 80 because I really wanted that level to level move from 60 up to 80. All right, so let's continue. That you can see that one got stopped out. I when I took that trade, the ATM strategy put the stop in automatically. I did not end up moving that stop at all. In fact, I almost wish I had it a little bit tighter there, um, kind of more on, right under that blue line. But um, anyway, got stopped out of that. And then I actually flipped short because I noticed we we're getting the retest of that 45. And I was looking at the price action on Bookmap and noticing that um, it just felt weak to me. We're getting that move down, retest of 45, right? We recaptured 60 and then we just lost it. I was very surprised by that. I said, I posted in the Discord after I took this long, I posted the trade, I said it didn't work, but I said retest of 45 could get ugly. You can go in the Discord and you can see what I said. I said, could get very ugly, um, depending on the price action there, we could start to see that next level down. So I did kind of quickly end up watching that action and notice that, um, it was getting kind of grim. I jumped in short um, and got that move down. And I got a really nice move down shortly after I jumped in short. I believe I got in short at just right there at 40. Um, I don't know if you guys can see that. The colors aren't very easy to see there, but got in short at 40 and then we got a really fast, quick break lower and I was able to get out a bunch, um, most of it, I think all but one contract out at 26 and then I had a trail stop that got trailed out right here. My trail stop happened to be right here at 3275 above this kind of balance range for like 
30 minutes, we were kind of in this little balance area. So I thought, okay, if we can get that next move lower, kind of continuing lower, rolling over here, that's great. Otherwise, if we boost out, I think we're gonna have a pretty big break above this balance. So the stop is right where it belongs and it was right where it belonged as we shot up and then we kind of didn't really return to those levels very much um, until much later on. So that overnight trade put me back um, into the green on the overnight um, and that was a very nice trade there. Um, then coming into today and this morning, I wanna talk about my trading today. Um, and I woke up, I saw the market and we got this really, really strong rally, 36.15. It looked like we were breaking down here, but then we just shot right up um, and recaptured these levels here. Um, and as I woke up, I saw us hanging out in between um, kind of 60 and 75. So here we kind of were again. So right off the bat, definitely favoring the long side. And you can see what I did here actually was a short on my first trade, but um, both of my trades today were actually short trades, counter trend trades, um, because when I see price move into these resistance zones, I tend to like to bet that these zones will hold up. Um, typically, you can make a lot more money doing that than you can trying to catch that breakout, trying to catch that breakout. But you guys can see how this worked out. Um, I was very patient on the open. Here's 9.30, I waited not until about past 10 o'clock to take my first trade. Finally, I was patient, I waited, price moved up into that 75.50 level, I decided yes, I'm gonna take this for the rollover back down to 60. We, shoot, I just moved that drawing. I hate that, like, I can't, there's no undo button. So, that drawing is just messed up now. I'll have to rewind the video and see where that drawing was. I'm not, I'm not too sure, it was something like that maybe. Shoot, anyway, whatever. Um, Oh, darn, I hate that that bugs me. <laughs> anyway, so I got that short into 75 and instantly, I'm talking instantly, price broke out of this range to a new high here and I got stopped out above this resistance level and I was just like, oh my God, are you kidding me? I felt so like defeated. You know, I'm sure all of you guys can relate at one point or another to taking a position and it ha immediately going against you and stopping you out. It just feels like the market did this to you. You can't help but feel that way. Obviously, you know, that's not the case, but on this trade, it definitely felt like the market was just out to get me because I just took that trade and instantly went against me. Um, and I stopped out. The trade lasted maybe 30 seconds. I'm serious. I just took this short and it just went straight up, stopped me out. I was like, what? And just like that. I, was I went from up 100 on the day from the overnight trades to down 100 on the day. So this was like a $200 loser right here, five contracts, losing about nine points there. Um, and then I was like, all right, I just need to reset. I'm gonna take a step back. That did not work, but we immediately failed back through and that's what frustrated me is because I just got wicked out and then we failed back down and did end up retesting that 60 level. So this wick had not formed yet. We came back down and we tested my 60 and it would have hit my target and I was like, just so frustrated because here's 75, it came back down to 60, that's 15 points. That would have been a beautiful, just, that's the trade I was looking for. But of course, it had to come up, wick me out first. So I was just very frustrated, but it felt good to know that, you know, I traded the plan, right? I wrote in my book today. Um, let's see if I can get my book out so I can show you guys. Um, where is my book? Okay, my journal is missing, so that's fine. Um, never mind. I don't know where it is. So we'll just. Ignore that for now. Okay, so anyway, whatever. You just have to trust me that I wrote 75 as where I wanted to short. Um, and it worked a few times off the open there, but got wicked out. Anyway, super frustrating. Then we did get the breakout um, above 75. And then I said, we kind of got that straight move up. And then this candle brief pullback, but then we came up again. And then this candle forming. I really liked the short at 3,700. So one of the things I wrote down in my book was short 75, and then the next level up I said to short was 3,700. So again, I tried the counter trend trade, and I got a beautiful, beautiful short here at 3,701, just looking for that quick break over 3,700, and then and then for that to fail, uh, right kind of just above that blue line there. Um, and I wanna show you guys too, kind of book map and what this looked like because this really gave me kind of the edge in this trade and it really did. Um, 
So you can see this was the price action kind of hovering around at 90 on that 15 minute candle prior. Here's a quick move up to about 97, uh, pull back to uh, about 88. There's a lot of consolidation here. Um, and so that's why I knew that I really just wanted a quick counter trend trade scalp really for just about 10 points off 3700 because we'd gotten all this kind of consolidation and building typically when I see something like this I think that there's going to be a wave of buyers that kind of push us up through and I do think we're likely to keep trending up but again just looking for that quick scalp and uh, uh, anyway, yeah, you can see all the sellers stacked up here as well and um, and all the sell icebergs that were coming through cumulatively um, throughout this time. So these, um, this is a sliding, this is a cumulative. So here on the cumulative, you can see um, icebergs minus 600, minus 1,000, minus 2,000. So we got this big um, dip right here um, in icebergs. Minus three and uh, minus three point eight, and then down here at the low, a big minus thousand sell um, right here, and then coming up, testing quick rip up through thirty seven hundred. I got short thirty seven oh one right here at those highs, uh, which worked out really, 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 really well. And then just looking for that pullback, just here. See the consolidation here at ninety. Um, and the orders there at 90 a little bit of support there just looking for that and you can see on um, on Ninja trader here where I got out right here you can see that that green arrow that's where I got out most of the trade right there at 9175 again just looking at this consolidation pattern here and looking for us to retest where we broke out from that's a very very common thing that you'll see and something that you can take advantage of in your trading for sure um, but again it's very common that when we get these kind of blocks of sellers here you'll get that rip through it that test through it and then for whatever reason the fail back through um, a lot of times uh, what I think about in my trading is a lot of people try to you know provide commentary on what's really going on behind the market and especially with bookmap they'll say like oh well you know the big players like this is why this is happening blah, 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 blah. what i try to do is simplify and just look for patterns of things that i see happen over and over and over again and then i don't even need to say why they're happening i don't need to know why they're happening you don't really need to know the gears and the moving pieces behind it so much as you just know hey this when this tends to happen this tends to happen when, I, when this pattern presents itself, this tends to be the result. That's all I'm really looking for. And so when I see something like that, I just I just try to take advantage best I can. And I don't try to think too much about, you know, oh, big money, smart money's doing this. I just look for the trend, I just look for the patterns and I try to take advantage um, of how those usually play out. And then you can see stopping out again. I on one contract, I'll have a ten-point trail, and then this one from bottom to top. This one got stopped out there at ninety-eight. Um, so yeah, sometimes I want to just be able to get out of that one, as you know, instead of letting it get stopped out, especially when you're just kind of counter trend trading. But um, anyway, so that is what it is. Um, and then I do kind of just want to point out, just to finish up here, like you notice. These lines and stuff, I did not change where these are at all, uh, except for this one. This one I just I just did move this one here, this uh, region. So, but anyway, and and this 36 level. But here at 25, this level was here. This level was here. You can see how I had all this drawn drawn out ahead of time, and it really. <laughs> it kind of played off my levels perfectly. So I really like this approach of just drawing the levels where you think they belong and um, and just, you know, just trying to play them. Um, and you can see we got a big rip day, but I went short twice and was able to um, make money. I mean, this trade I lost, this trade I won. So overall, I'll say that the PNL between these two was pretty break even, but um, but with the overnight trading, um, yes, it was a, uh, a a green day. So up, I think a hundred on the day um, in this account. Um, all right, well it doesn't show up because technically we're on to the next day, but I finished up about a hundred overall. Um, so anyway, yeah, so that's all I wanted to share and. Um, I'll be live tomorrow morning, Thursday, uh, 9.20 a.m. And uh, other than that, guys, if you want to try the TCP for yourself, I highly recommend it. I, I'm so glad that I'm doing this because um, 
I, I just, I, I obviously, you know, from all of what I put in the Discord recently and how my trading's been going and all that, I just, I cannot bring myself, I should not be trading my personal account in any way, in any capacity, and, um, and so I've already vowed to not do that anymore and just trade in this simulator. And if I pass this eval, great. If I don't, um, then you know that's that's kind of my sign that you know I need to keep trying. I need to get better and not and not trade with real money yet. You can see twenty four thousand seven hundred. So we're still in the red on this eval, but you know it was worse. We were down at twenty four thousand three hundred or so um, yesterday at one point, I think. So. Um, Anyway, yeah, that's all I got. So, guys, if you do enjoy these recaps, I appreciate you guys hitting the thumbs up button and subscribing, and that is all. All right, see you tomorrow.